internet. Today I'm doing a comparison video between two different brands of markers. One is called Itsy Bitsy and the other is our favorite Crayola Super Tips. So for those of you who don't know, Itsy Bitsy is actually a brand that I think is exclusive to the Reject Shop, which is actually an Australian discount store. Kind of like in the same vein as the Dollar Tree in America, but probably not quite as affordable. So the Itsy Bitsy brand covers a range of affordable stationery from like pens, pencils, markers, chalks, papers, all sorts of stuff. And so when I saw these markers in the store, I was super curious to know what the quality would be like or if they were at all similar to the Crayolas. But also I just want to say a quick sorry if you don't live in Australia because I know that Itsy Bitsy is Australia exclusive and I know that a lot of people from America and other countries do watch my videos. Um, but I did just want to do a comparison and I thought for anybody else who's out there in Australia watching these videos, maybe they'd find it useful. I'll try to make sure to include more internationally available brands in any future comparison videos, promise. So onto the markers. In terms of physical difference, the two markers actually look pretty similar. Itsy Bitsy is just a little bit shorter, but otherwise, besides a few like minor cosmetic differences, the markers look exactly the same, which is the whole reason I was drawn to them to begin with, because I actually did wonder if they were Crayolas. And when it comes to the performance, the brands are actually pretty close in terms of quality, but I will say that I found the Itsy Bitsies to be generally a little lighter when it came to pigmentation than the Crayolas. I do find that the Crayolas have a much deeper, richer color to them, Whereas the Itsy Bitsies, I don't know, it's kind of like if the Crayolas were a with a little less ink or something like that. But in terms of the bleed through, it's exactly the same, aka actually no bleed through at all, especially on the paper that I was using. And the notebook that I was using is a Muji notebook. But I will say that the biggest difference for me was the type and the range of colors you'll get. So for the Crayola range, you can actually get up to a hundred colors. I don't know if you can get more than that, but I do have like a box that is like a hundred different Crayola marker colors. However, for Itsy Bitsy, it's actually pretty limited. So even though the box that I got said 64 colors, there's a lot of repetition in there. So I feel like you would only get maybe 20 or 30 different types of colors before you start experiencing duplicates. So that's a real bummer and I think honestly that's the biggest pain point for me. I don't exactly remember the price point of the Itsy Bitsies but I do recall them being pretty comparable to Crayola. I know that the Crayola Super Tips generally are a little more expensive in Australia than they are in America but for markers I still find them to be pretty good especially if you were to compare them to say the Tombow markers which I understand is completely different quality and everything like that so I don't really know if it's right to compare them but just for comparison's sake. So in all honesty, I would stick to the Crayolas if I were you. Even if you are in Australia, I know that the Super Tips are easily available in places like Kmart and Target. You can get them from like packs of, I don't know, 10 or 15 to up to 50. Um, but if you are looking for the full range of 100 markers, then I would recommend you check out Amazon. That's where I personally got mine. And I honestly didn't pay that much, like maybe $50, $60 for the whole thing. It, it was like crazy cheap. So anyways, I hope you found the video helpful, if not at least interesting to watch, and let me know what other items you'd like to see featured or compared. I am always on the lookout for the latest and greatest when it comes to stationery. I'm just completely addicted, although it does leave me with a bit of storage problem, which I will get to at some point. I know a lot of people have been asking for like a desk tour, but let me tell you, my desk is not tour worthy right now, and I need to figure out how I'm going to store all my pens. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting for my room. Back to the internet.